It's time for the June recap of the bags I carried and review and pros and cons of each bag that I wore in June. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're not new. And thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave. And today I am doing another recap video. Since I did the May recap of what I wore, we're doing June. And I am staying strong. The no buy is successful. So you all should try it. I like to use my tracker to see the bags that I've carried in the month and I want to review what I've used and a little bit of uh, review doesn't hurt when if you all want to purchase these bags in the future or now or whatever you're looking for you'll know some of the pros and cons before buying them <laughs> and so this is the perfect recap of June and my no buy is about over and I have paid off all bag purchases and I am clear to buy whenever I want to but I just was wanting to see if I could do it myself for a whole month not to buy and it actually was not as hard as I thought it would be All these bags finally or that I hadn't used in years they're getting used so and then it tells me if I want to keep them or if I want to sell them or if I want to look at them if they're really pretty <laughs> so the first bag I used was my Marc Jacobs I believe this is the Carly Q crossbody and it's the metallic mermaid awesome changing colors tiny crossbody i believe i just wore this on the weekend it has a strong magnetic for the closure has the print of the mark jacobs inside and then here is the strap uh, it's a tiny strap but it works for me crossbody just fine it has card slots in it I used this for, you know, like I said, just the weekend. I put a card holder, keys, and a chapstick, and a hand sanitizer and walked out the door. There's really no cons it, it, other than it's not big enough for everyday use, but it's very comfortable for shopping on the weekend or a trip away. Uh, this leather is... If you haven't felt uh, vintage Marc Jacobs, I think this is vintage, I'm not sure. Uh, but if you haven't felt this leather, this is the reason why I want one of his newer leather bags, the full grain leather, because I know how soft this one is. So yeah, I, I enjoyed carrying this bag, it's just a little small. And for the week after that, I sh shared with you that I was going to try the bucket bag and I'm almost eating my words here. I enjoyed being in this bucket bag. <laughs> I didn't carry a lot of things, just my essentials. I love this strap. Sometimes this strap slides off your, or at least it slides off my shoulder a little bit. I have to hold on to it. That's a little annoying. I of course did not set it down on any kind of surface floor or anything and the drawstring I'm thinking about getting one of those leather pull tabs that instead of this knot this works you know opening and closing the bag it works but I think I want to get one from dress up your purse that I can just cinch up easier but other than that I really enjoy this carry if you haven't known about Louis Vuitton white multicolor it does bleed from the inside they made the interior that red color 
and it bled um it bled on the on this pocket worse than the other pocket but nowhere else did it bleed you know it's beautiful multicolor it's big petite no way i enjoyed carrying it because i didn't pack it full <laughs> so that's my next one and after that i believe it was my birthday bag my coach rowan satchel i wore this with my crossbody strap it's a comfortable carry and you can fit all your things in it i've showed this multiple times but i wanted to carry it again since may so i did and it fits everything i want has the feet on the bottom yep i ha i don't really have any cons for this sat the rowan satchel next i was in my gucci which is not this is not real I know that most people don't like rep bags and I don't really buy them either unless I'm wanting to test out to see if I want the actual genuine authentic Gucci Soho and I really like this bag I, my tassel looks a little crazy but it fits so much in here it's a comfortable slim crossbody I think I still want one of these on my my wish list I mean it may be down the road a ways but this one has worked out really well so I really like this this type of bag and you know camera style is easy and it's a good size so yeah this was a good carry and on to my Walmart bum bag <laughs> belt bag I enjoyed carrying this for carefree reasons. It's been really hot. I didn't care about this because it's not real Vaquetta leather. But the canvas on this Walmart bag is actually very thick. It's almost like the old Louis Vuitton canvas. It's really durable. I could fling it over a chair and not care about what happened. It's wipeable. It fit all the things I wanted it to carry and my phone in the back and it fits over my chest or I can wear it cross, you know, as a shoulder bag. I can't say enough about these uh, Walmart dupes because if you don't want to spend thousands of dollars, try Walmart.com. They have, you know, the brown checkered print they have black checkered print they have white checkered print i'm i think they still have this one i tried all three and i only kept this one <laughs> i liked it the best um i didn't really like the white checkered or the black checkered one again no logos but it'll give you an idea if you would if you wanted to spend the money for a bum bag from louis vuitton this is a good way to test it and i enjoyed this but i still don't want to buy the real one either and finally the last bag i used and for the end of june is my pale blue small satchel from dooney and burke yes it's weighty but i really think that i'm gonna pick a, gu a guitar strap nylon whatever strap for these from now on i have a black florentine one i want i want to get one of these guitar straps because it's just more comfortable if you have some shoulder pain i have some shoulder pain right now these straps are just not as comfortable for this type of bag so i'm going to probably get a couple more different straps and wear them with these bags because you know this is over four pounds with your th with my things in it <laughs> so I think that this is the way to go I just need to find one that matches and I always enjoy the top handle carry has the feet on the bottom no pocket in the back but you know everyone's seen the satchel so yeah, my my pro for now is that I'm gonna continue to use this kind of strap 
It's just more comfortable. And it's a little annoying getting in and out because mine has now developed the smile, the Dooney smile is what they call it. And so it, when you, you have to kind of hold it and then unzip it and then you have all your things which are still in there. But I thought this was a good uh, 4th of July bag to use. I went to a friend's house so this is my last bag and we will see what July holds because I won't be on my no buy. <laughs> But I'm not going to go crazy either. I want to enjoy what I have more. This has been a good experience of not having to buy something or feel like I'm going to miss out. I just wanted to be strong and I was and I feel good about it and I may have a lower buy year because I just, I get burnout buying bags and unboxing. I'm going to probably do the same thing. I'm going to recap what I've carried, what I've enjoyed, what I haven't enjoyed, and go from there. So I hope you enjoyed this video of my recap of June. And uh, if you have, give me a thumbs up and like this video, subscribe to it, comment down below. Are you on a no buy or a lower buy year? I mean, I think that there's quite a few people out there that are trying to be strong just like me and refrain from buying a bag constantly. And it's better for your wallet. And yeah, I have enjoyed it. And I thank you for coming along on this journey. And if you like handbags and accessories or you know someone that likes that, share my channel. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers. And I appreciate all of you for stopping by and subscribing if you did. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. To accompany me, accompany me.